Hello everyone! My name is Eva Wong Nava and I'm a children's book author. Today I'm here to talk about my fourth picture book. It's called Toon Dr. Siti Hasma Muhammad Ali, The Accidental Doctor. Words by Eva Wong Nava with June Ho. Pictures by Deba Smita Dasgupta. Published by World Scientific. When Siti Hasma was born, she was born in Malaya. Today is known as Malaysia. She was born in 1926, when many, many girls didn't go to school. Now, Siti Hasma was a lucky girl. Her father believed that when you educate a girl, you educate the world. And she was sent to school. Now, in this picture book, June and I talk about how Siti Hasma became an accidental doctor. I'm so excited to read a little bit of this book to you and to hear what you have to say. Remember that Hasma didn't believe she could be a doctor, but she ended up being a doctor anyway. And you can do that too. A cool breeze rustled through the open fields. Kites were flying high. Hasma's eyes stayed glued to the one that she and her brothers had made with bamboo, rice paper, and strings coated in sticky rice and crushed glass. With her heart in her throat, her eyes followed their layang, layang in the sky. You see Hasma and her two brothers and the kite. Clip. Glass strings cut one kite after another. Swoosh. Hasma watched as the kite came tumbling down. Time to go home to make another. The fun would begin again soon. There's Hasma. She's looking up, and what can she see here? This is a special kind of kite. When the wind was still, Hasma and her brothers played rough and tumble games. One of their favorites was to catch lava lava. Do you know what lava lavas are? Snap! They trapped spiders in matchboxes and watched as black spiders battle with one another. The biggest spider was always the winner. Hasma was an adventurous tomboy, yet she loved reading and writing. Being a doctor was far from her mind when she was young. There's our Hasma. She didn't think she was going to be a doctor. I didn't think I was going to be a writer. I just stumbled upon it. It came as a surprise, but I've always loved reading. It was great fun working on this picture book project with both my friends. And the most favorite thing for me to do when I write stories for children is to remember my childhood, is to go back to a place where I was very happy. I remember climbing trees. I remember flying kites. I remember catching spiders. Those were wonderful days. Today, children play differently. They play different games. And the reason why we decided to start this story that spans a long time in Toon City's life. So Toon City was born in 1926. She's still alive today. In order to put her entire life into a children's picture book, there was a lot of research done. And that research was quite fun because I had to research children's games that were played in Malaysia and Singapore. 
That made me remember what my childhood was like. Children, when you listen to this story or when you read this story, remember that once a long, long time ago, people played differently. We didn't have computers, there was no internet. So we made up games and one of my favorite games and Hasma's too, was to watch kites fly. As you can see in this book, Hasma played a lot with her brothers. They were younger than her and they played a lot of rough and tumble games. So you can see why Hasma is a tomboy. When I was little, I used to play a lot with my sisters. I'm the eldest and I have two younger sisters. We don't often get along. Sometimes we fight, but we play more often than we fought. Family is so important to me because family is what childhood is all about. And I love talking about childhood because children's books are what childhood's all about too. All right now, it's time for me to go. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.